Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built Stir themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv. You know, it wasn't too long ago that Mark and I went out to the uh, Bingham Canyon Copper Mine and uh, checked that show out about a month or so ago. Anyway, um, when we were out there, we drove to a little town called Copperton. Now, Copperton used to sit right, well, it still does sit, right outside of the um, canyon. And it's still there, still a little town, but there used to be a great big high school building sitting right there in the middle of town. And I always thought it was a very, very beautiful building. Come to find out, it was, uh, it shared the same architect with another very beautiful building that I actually worked in for a while, South High School in Salt Lake City. Uh, had, they both had the same architect, they were built around the same time, and well, one of the really neat things about a school is they can uh, tear down an old school, build a new school, um, but the school name and the community and the, um, how can I put it, the, the spirit of that school um, goes on. And in the case of Bingham High School that we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about, uh, well, a little bit of the history of Bingham High School particularly the one that sat out there at Copperton and even though the building is now gone which is very sad it uh, its spirit still lives on in the community and the um, well and, and the, the people who are still there the, the Bingham High School so without further ado we're gonna head out to Copperton and we are going to look at Bingham High School out at Copperton. The history of Bingham High School actually starts in 1908 with the arrival of 12 freshman students at a campus that was located above Canyon Hall in the old town of Bingham Canyon. And that's kind of this building up here on the uh, left. That building was used until 1912. Uh, around 1910, because they were starting to outgrow this building, um, they, the school district actually built another building, this particular building on the left, on uh, Main Street there in Bingham. And that particular building was used from 1912 until 1925. This school cost $35,000 to build. And it had students from Bingham, Copperfield, Highland Boy, Lark, and many of these students took uh, a horse-drawn bus to the campus. So this building was actually used as the elementary school um, for all of those years. And you can see this was pre-building of that high school building. That would have been kind of in the foreground. It's kind of neat. This is an old, obviously this is an old Liljenburg. Um, Edwin Liljenburg built a lot of, or designed, a lot of schools on this particular um, plan here and many in Salt Lake City as well. So the student body, as I said, moved in 1924 to this building that's here on the left in the foreground of this particular picture here in Bingham Canyon. And it was used, I should say, they used this particular building until 1931. On Facebook, there is a page called Bingham Canyon Memories, and they have a lot of great photographs of the little town of Bingham Canyon you may want to check out. So in 1927, kind of at the mouth of the canyon, they put the bee up on the side of the hill. Uh, April 8th of 1927 is when it was completed. And just recently, they actually put uh, some lights on this so that it's, uh, it's lit year-round. They used to whitewash it uh, two times a year, uh, every year until the Great Landslide just uh, a couple years ago. So now the fourth incarnation of Bingham High School was this beautiful building that was completed in 1931. 
It was a 282,000 square foot structure with 26 classrooms and a gym. And this was opened up in Copperton on the north side of the main road there in Copperton. When it opened, it had an enrollment of 616 students. The school's football and baseball stadiums went up during the Great Depression. Thanks to the labor from the Works Progress Administration, Later in the 1930s, uh, Kennecott donated lights for the stadium at the Old Bingham High School and also at Magna's uh, Cypress High School. The expanding open pit copper mine slowly swallowed up the town of Bingham, but the school remained. Students were bused from Harriman, Riverton, Bluffdale, South Jordan, and West Jordan. This is a beautiful um, aerial view that you can see even the football field, the baseball diamond, just the whole, the whole shebang. Great picture here um, of the old Bingham High School from the air. I might mention that there is, I'm gonna put in a, a link to a video on YouTube where some folks took a, a camera and basically went through uh, the old building and took some great video. Uh, this uh, seal that was there in the main foyer, you get a great opportunity to see this beautiful old building. And I mentioned earlier South High School. It is very uh, similar to the look of the old South High School. And looking at the video is absolutely awesome. Brings back a lot of memories from when I worked at South. Anyway, um, here's some other pictures taken at some different times. Most of these during the, uh, the 1970s. So speaking of which, in, um, in 1974, the main high school was closed down because, well, a brand new beautiful building was built at uh, 2160 West and 104 South in South Jordan. That was an $11 million building opened in 1975 and had a huge enrollment and it's still going strong and has a great football program. Anyway, uh, this old building here was turned over to uh, a junior high school. They made it a, I think it was a Bingham Junior High um, until 1976 when, sorry, 1996, duh, until 1996. So it remained as a educational edifice till then. But 1996, it was closed down, uh, declining enrollment in the area. Um, you know, little town of Bingham Canyon was completely gone. And well, unfortunately, they raised the building in 2002. And what a sad day that was. Some of the things that are still there uh, are the stairs that went up to the football uh, stadium, and the, the baseball stadium. And there's a big empty vacant lot where the school once stood. Kind of sad, um, although Bingham High School as a high school, as a institution is still thriving. It's just whenever these old buildings get torn down, it's kind of a, uh, kind of a sad thing, particularly for me. Uh, it's these beautiful old buildings. It's said by some who went to that school not too many years ago that it really had kind of that uh, Ozzy and Harriet feel, a little uh, town of Copperton, and that there was no policeman roaming these halls. Uh, aside from an occasional schoolyard skirmish, it was an idyllic, peaceful environment. Also, other folks have said that uh, football games there at Bingham High back in the old days, well, it was like Friday Night Lights. The stadium was always packed, and the, uh, the bleachers there on the west side sometimes would there'd just be so many folks that, well, they would get on the hills uh, there behind the, the bleachers. So bring in a lot of folks for those games, and baseball as well. Uh, baseball had a little set of wooden bleachers behind the home plate, and they'd be so packed that they'd get people there on the the hills uh, behind there. So just a really old, I don't want to say old school feel, but a very old uh, small town feel to the whole place. 
And that was from people that, uh, you know, in, into the 70s uh, talked about that. Beautiful little building, though. And you'll see from this particular angle that it does bear a striking resemblance to uh, South High School here in Salt Lake City. Now, both schools had the same uh, architects. Uh, Scott and Welsh were the name of the architects that designed both of the buildings. And they do look very, very similar. If uh, you want to go by South High, well, it's still standing there on State Street, although it's uh, Salt Lake Community College now. Another very, very beautiful edifice from that period of time. But it's sad to see the old Bingham High School is now gone. Thanks for joining us on this nostalgic journey back in time. And you can still see the remnants of, uh, well, the old lot where Bingham High School once sat out in Coverton.